I actually like the Niners to win this game, and uh, it's always a debate. Do you want to lay two? Do you just want to lay the money line if the game happens to fall on one or two? So I just decided to pay the tax, and uh, I did play my Niners money line minus 125 is what I had gotten it at. I think it's around 130 at most places now. So, Will, I, I don't know. What's your philosophy when it comes to games that are under a field goal, minus one, minus one, and one, minus two? Like, do, do, do you pay the tax on it and just uh, the, the, the possibility the game lands on one or two, or are you, you going to lay the two? Yeah, I think it's important to uh, to have a lot of books and just be able to to shop around it. And I, I prefer the cheap money line. I don't want to middle myself and have the game land on one or two, which it's not likely. Most games don't land on one or two, but not likely doesn't mean it never happens. So um, I think, you know, I probably should have mentioned this in the Chiefs portion of the podcast. But if you do like the Chiefs, two, two and a half, you're probably going to get a three in terms of live wagering. Let's just say San Francisco gets the ball first, gets to midfield, gets a few first downs. Those live markets are pretty sensitive. You're going to see a three, three and a half, or if the Chiefs go, get it and go three and out, you'll probably get a three, three and a half. So, um, you know, I know it's you can't do this when you're doing podcasts a few days before the game to say, hey, just bet it live. But Chiefs at the two, two and a half, maybe you're just better off waiting uh, if you do like the underdog. Look, I've gone back and forth on this game. It's a very mm -hmm. tricky handicap from September to December. The, the 49ers have been the better team, the much better team. But uh, you have to really just come to the grip, come to grips with the fact that this Chiefs team takes it to another level in the playoffs. Uh, I don't know if it, you can call it they play possum, but they certainly pace themselves. There's always been this idea mm -hmm. that Andy Reid saves the good plays for the postseason. So to me, uh, I, I like the uh, you know I like the Chiefs getting the points here. Sammy? I haven't made a side bet yet, believe it or not. Um, we'll wait and see what happens. I mean, as we get closer to the weekend, I still think that chief money is going to come in, but it'll get bocked back and forth, you know? Like, anytime it gets sub two, they're going to lay one and a half back. I mean, we've seen the resistance from pro betters and sharp groups. So I think two is a really good guess on where the number is going to close. Maybe two and a half, um, but I would probably just lay the quarter there, minus 125. What if the Niners win 21 to 20? We're going to hate ourselves if we lay two. And I think in the Super Bowl, it's the last game of the year. I'm not tying on two. I'm not tying 24-22. <laughs> I'd rather lose than tie in the Super Bowl, as, as degenerate as that sounds. So I would lay the quarter, but I haven't gotten involved yet with the uh, – side or the total or the money line yeah yeah two is possible because i mean you, you with the job obviously with the two-point conversion i mean that, that you're not going to kick the extra point and lose by one you're going to so so like two i think is more possible than one but, but i'm with you I, I i just laid the quarter to, to just guarantee myself that they do win uh that, that i would jeff i know just, I, just, I, just so i have it correct you you laid a little bit of tax as you said yes on brock pretty Winning over Patrick Mahomes. I just want to make sure we. I laid it. I laid a tax on the okay. San Francisco 49ers. But, but the quarterback before, on, on the San Francisco over. on the San Francisco 49ers beating the Kansas City Chiefs. I, I didn't realize. But, but you realize I, at the end it's going to be like Brock Purdy defeats Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be like Brock Purdy over Mahomes. That's going to be like the headline of the of the, no, the whole Super Bowl. Like Nick Foles beating Tom Brady. Like that. That's been the headline of that game. This will always go down. And is if the Niners win this game, it'll be like. The, the pinnacle of Brock Purdy. We're going to always hear about how he mm -hmm. beat Eli Manning, beat Tom Brady twice. We're going to hear about that. that that's I hate the way that. The game I hate that, be though, because it's, that's not what happens. I know, but the game. the game is going to be framed that way if, if, if Purdy wins this game. Uh, guys, the total, you, you mentioned, Sammy, you haven't touched it yet, uh, but you mentioned in, in the Chiefs episode, someone kind of hit the Niners fourth quarter. I kind of like the second half under already. The Chiefs offense we've seen in the postseason starts really fast, has kind of cratered off. No fourth quarter points against Buffalo. No second half points against the Ravens. And their defense, guys, in the second half of games has been outstanding the entire season. They do not allow points in the second half of games. I don't know if it's better to, to wager on that now than maybe wait for an early sort of quick scoring burst in the first quarter, early first 25 minutes, and somehow getting a live number that's better. But what do you guys feel about Chiefs, sort of, I mean, not Chiefs, but game kind of second half under, betting it before the game starts? Well, I can tell you now, Circa and Superbook in Vegas have it at 23 and a half. And there's something to be said about that number. You know, 24 is a very popular second half total. 24 is a key number in terms of totals. So when they open it, 24 and a half, that's affirmation that there's probably going to be points, right? That extra half point, one way or the other, tells you a lot. 
So for them to open 23 and a half, just under that 24 is built in respect for second half defense and maybe a second half running attack that's really heavy. And look, there's a world where if the Niners are up, I'm saying if the Niners go up, they run the ball with McCaffrey or try to run the ball with McCaffrey the entire second half. Same thing with Kansas City. And, you know, it's crazy. We, we talk about them being in the Super Bowl. They beat a, an awful Dolphins defense in minus 15 degree weather. They beat a Bills defense playing on the shortest rest of any team in playoff history. And then they had 4.4 yards per play against the Ravens in the second half and scored three points. So I think all of that factored in explains the position to open just under that 24 at 23 and a half. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.